Hey everyone, so a bit of a deviation from what I normally cover on this channel. This is just a one-off about a game that I've been playing, and it's Disgaea 4. I originally played this game on the PS3, but it's available on the Windows Store now, so I picked it up. Just as some games like Animal Crossing and farming simulators like that, that some people can really uh, lose themselves in those kind of uh, gameplay loops. For me, it was always the leveling and item leveling in Disgaea that really did for me. The fact that you could level up your characters hundreds of levels. You can then reincarnate them and combine them with other characters to make unique characters. You can level up your equipment. I always really liked this. I could play one of these games for like hundreds of hours. Anyways, so all that leveling could seem like as if it's a bit tiresome, particularly if you're partway through the game and you want to create a new character. However, there's a very easy way to power level in this game, and most of the games give you an introductory way to do it. So the first thing that you want to do is this character on the screen here. You'll have the option to uh, propose something to the Senate. So whether you use the top level menu or you go into the campaign, either way, you can propose something to the Senate. And one of them is create a new character. So you create the new character that you want to level up. And then in this list, I already chose it, but it will say something like, I want to cheat. It's really not cheat, but what it does, it gives you an option menu. And then it should approve because if you notice in the upper right corner, there's an approval chance. It's something like 88 or 90% when I proposed it. But anyways, what it does is it creates a new NPC and that is over here just rotate around and what he does you can do a couple things one you can change how much experience you are getting so if you notice at the top here it says experience 125 mana 125 and hl which is the currency is only 70. so what this does is you can say give me less money but give me more experience and give me more mana. Mana is used to purchase and upgrade skills. So that's the first step is the fact that you can increase how much experience you're getting naturally. Second of all, you can, uh, you can increase the enemy level. So say if you do this, I think it adds like two or three levels to the enemy, okay? And this you're gonna keep coming back to again and again, which we'll get to in a minute. So we'll just increase it by one star. And as you get further in the game, you can give high-level equipment to your new level characters. So unlike some games, there's no level restriction. You can give your character an immensely powerful weapon, even though they're level 1. So I'm not going to go through that step. That's just buying equipment and equipping it. And then you come to Meaver. And it's the very first level. It's Episode 1 and Rehabilitation Room. If you go into this, you'll see... This area here, XP 50%. So you can, as I said, you do two things. You increase how much XP you get naturally by using the sliders. And then two, you increase the enemy level. By increasing their level, you get even more experience. So right now, these guys are saying level five, when I believe they should say like either level one or three. We take out our level one character. And she's going to one hit them and she just got three levels. If you notice in the lower left corner, level four. So in a matter of seconds, I grabbed three levels. Now, it's not going to always be that quick because obviously as you get levels, then you're going to level up slower. And if you want, you could bring out a second person to, to toss her around. But instead, we'll just end the turn and let them come to us. And counter attack, and I level up again. And now you can see in the lower left corner it says level 5. So I killed two enemies and I got four levels. Another level. So just like that, I grab something like five levels. Now what we'll do, now let's just rinse and repeat. We'll heal her up. And 
and then we'll go back to the cheat room as they call it. It's more of a preference room, but you know, they have to be edgy so they say it's cheating. And now we'll bump the enemy strength up again. And if you do this right, basically you'll keep one shotting. You won't keep leveling up for just one kill, but you can keep scaling. So watch what happens. They're now level eight. So they grabbed like two levels doing that or three. And now we come here. And again, leveling up. So in, if you've noticed in the lower left corner, the bar is slightly more than halfway. So I'm already halfway towards the next level. And so that's basically it. You just rinse and repeat. And level 8 and almost halfway to 9. Now that time I didn't quite kill them. So as long as you're standing on the space, it shouldn't matter what space they're on. As long as you're on the bonus space. So just shy of 8. And yet another level. And we'll just do that one more time, and then that will be it. That's really all I wanted to show you. And like I said, I can get lost in a game like this. Again, just like people get lost in Harvest Moon and Animal Cross and things like that. There's just something really satisfying about the leveling. And then every single piece of equipment can also be leveled. And so we'll do this. Let's do it two more times. See how high that gets them. And I haven't spliced the video at all. It's that quick. And so now they're level 13. So this will be a little bit more of a challenge. So I didn't quite kill them with one hit, but I'm only nine, so I probably bumped it up a little bit too much. But this formation in particular is very helpful, particularly later when you get, uh, there's an ability where you can hit characters on all three sides like that. So as you get your special abilities, as you can see, specials grayed out. As you get your special abilities, you'll be able to level up even faster that you probably could hit all three with one shot. And I skipped through it, but I was almost up to another. So even though I leveled up, I was almost at another level too. And we'll just skip that in from that uh, animation. Not trying to waste anyone's time. Just trying to show you how quick this can be. And we're basically uh, at the end of the video. You can see character is level 11 now. So we'll just finish up this room and then that's really it for the tutorial so that's what i want to do was just a quick little you know how most of my tutorials are about how to make games i obviously enjoy playing them as well Anyway, so like I said, I know it's not a new game. Uh, it's really my second time playing, but it recently showed up on the Windows Store. I think it showed up in December. It was sometime at the end of last year, according to the store. And just like that, I've, I'm like level 12 or 13 now. So yeah, level 13, and that was all of what, maybe five minutes? And just, I'm just going to set this back. So so these, I normally want to like this anyways, because in this game, the money just builds up. I've got like hundreds of thousands, and I've already bought everything my characters need. So uh, certainly your mileage may vary. Um, 
and then let's just look at the skills as well since we're doing this so you come to this character here and you can learn skills or boost skills so in the case of samara so she's using the um she's using the spare so you can do things like uh, impaler drop pole rage see pole rage if you look in the use the mouse over here see how there's three dots so like i said when the three pretty surrounded me i would have actually hit all three with one attack so that makes leveling even faster so rather than beating just one enemy per attack in that case i could have beat all three and um although generally speaking so we'll take in payload drop actually we can afford them both so and if you notice i'd said about how i increased mana so I'm getting a ton of mana per kill as, as well. So it's not just leveling up your, your, your absolute level. It's also being able to get the corresponding skills as well. And we'll see if we can boost any of them. Yep, we can boost Impaler Drop. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. This isn't the normal content that I do on this channel. Like I said, I'm just kind of in between projects and I saw this was on the Windows Store, so I figured I'd pick it up. And uh, so, and anyways, I hope that this was helpful and uh, please enjoy the rest of your day.